So I wanted to do something a little different for the video this week. I wanted to talk about something that's really kind of personal and frankly kind of hard to talk about. So I just wanted to strip it down and talk from the heart. So here I am um, sitting on my bed in my Manhattan apartment and uh, I want to talk about hitting rock bottom. And I want to make a distinction here. I'm not talking about like a rock bottom caused by external factors like a death or anything like that. Those are horrible. We've all gone through that. It's awful. I'm talking about like a personal did it to yourself rock bottom. Like have to take full accountability for it. Ain't no one else's fault but mine kind of rock bottom. So here it is. This all takes place around my final years of college. I was going to NYU at the time and I was in this really super competitive conservatory program. On top of that, I was working on the weekends and I was in shows and you know, my schedule was totally overbooked and I think I just let the pressure and the stress of everything get to me. I was also dealing with really bad acid reflux, like really bad like can't speak for the first 30 minutes of every day kind of bad and I was going to school for freaking musical theater and I was popping pills like crazy I had to go on this crazy restricted diet not even like it wasn't a healthy diet just a low acid diet and I couldn't have caffeine I couldn't have alcohol hot sauce fat like anything that makes life worth living pretty much so you know, dealing with all of that too. And then on top of that, I was trying to be like the best dancer in the world to compensate for my vocal issues. And I was having some body issues. I mean, you know, I've never had the perfect dancer body. I never will. Like I was born curvy. Yeah, you know, I'm hauling some junk in the trunk. And standing next to these girls in those dance classes with like these perfectly slim, beautiful ballet bodies, I just felt overweight and ugly kind of sent me down this crazy shame spiral basically long story short between the dance stuff and the acid reflux stuff I just came to hate my body and just resent it I resented my body so much it didn't look the way I wanted it to look it didn't work the way I wanted it to work and I had a really awful relationship with my body and so I started to attract a certain type of person and this all happened on a very subconscious level and I wasn't aware of it at the time but I think that I was just so exhausted from taking care of myself and my own problems that I found it was easier to take care of other people and their problems so I started attracting to me all of these like kind of crazy egocentric take 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 toxic people and I got you know like a really crazy best friend and I also got into a really awful emotionally abusive relationship with a man who uh, later on it turned out uh, ended up being an alcoholic and he's been in AA for many years and gotten his shit together so that's good and at some point it all just came to a head and I lost all sense of self-respect and self-worth I had no confidence and uh, I just kind of quit life I uh, stopped doing all of the things that had ever brought me happiness because I don't know I felt like I didn't deserve it or something so I quit theater I quit dancing I stopped seeing my actually cool friends and instead I just started drinking my freaking face off and you know getting in drunken screaming matches with my shitty boyfriend and hanging out with all these awful toxic people and smoking weed and binging on pizza and so you know soon enough it was the second semester of my senior year and the realities of graduating started to sink in and I had to take a really long hard look at my life and you know I realized it fallen to shit and I just said something's got to change so you know I was gonna graduate with a BFA in theater so I was like okay well might as well just finish what I started so I re-enrolled in the theater program I broke up with my shitty boyfriend for good just cut out all of the toxic people in my life and um, went back to my ENT and my reflux had actually gotten so bad at that point that I had to get stomach surgery and they all seemed like the right decisions but I still wasn't happy 
I was lonely. I had no boyfriend, no friends. My closest family was thousands of miles away in California and I didn't really know what else to do for myself so I started going to the gym and I started working out and getting really into fitness and then I was doing that so much that I started eating better too and I did that for a little bit and I started to feel a little better and then I started to feel a lot better and then I started to feel really strong and then over time I just started to experience this sense of elation and self-worth and confidence that I really never had before. I was losing a lot of weight and I was getting really toned and I just felt very whole and confident and it was kind of incredible and I just thought holy shit like I have discovered the key to life like why didn't anybody tell me I'm telling you now it's the freaking key to life and so you know I went back into my musical theater program and I had kind of fallen behind because of the surgery but I was like you know what I just gotta go to one audition this semester just one everyone else in the program had gone to a million and I was like okay just focus on doing one going to one so I went in it was a big dance course call and I show up and there are like you know hundreds of girls in these packed New York City rooms and they're all wearing like their cute little crop tops and everything and I was just like whatever and I went to the corner and I did push-ups and sit-ups and I was feeling good about myself and I was feeling good about my body and I went to the dance call and I did pretty well and I got a call back and then I got another call back and another call back and another call back and I got the job and I spent the whole next year on the national tour of Greece just like going across the whole country in this incredible tour and I really think it was just because the health and the nutrition and everything else like I just felt so physically good that I was radiating something. People could feel how good I felt. I got my group fitness degree the following summer before I left for tour, and I have never looked back. I love my life so much, and I love my friends, and everything just is going so well, and it's all in place, and I'm at that point in my life where I feel like I want to give that to other people. I want to share that with other people. Again, I feel like I've unlocked the key to life and I want to like announce it to the world. So I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about this. Sorry, this was so much. I feel like kind of indulgent talking so much about myself, but um, I don't know. Maybe you guys have had similar experiences. Let me know, please comment on the video let's like start a conversation about this i just don't know why anyone is not talking about this if you've experienced anything like it like please make me feel like not a crazy person and i would love 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 it if you would send this to anyone that you think it might be inspiring to that's struggling right now and um yeah thank you again for listening you guys are awesome <laughs> bye cheers